What's up, YouTube? This is going to be our guide on how to use Clefable and Clefairy, a Pokemon, Scarlet, and Violet. I'll be providing competitive movesets and some fun meme movesets too. If there's a Pokemon you'd like to see me cover, put it below in the comment section of the video. And if you enjoy these series, they help you out. Drop a like on the video and let's get into it. So, Clefable is one of the new returning Pokemon. And we're going to cover that and then some Clefairy and all kinds of stuff today. So, looking at Clefable's stats... It's pretty, uh, it's more of a, uh, a support Pokemon all round, and we got a couple of sets to start off with for that. So Clefable's best stat here is its health, and we've got its uh, special defense and its special attack. But it learns moves that are very, very good for support, and it does have great supportive abilities as well. So we're going to be doing this firstly for a more of a singles build, I'd say this before. We're going to do this one as like a Wish Passer and a Stealth Rock set. So pretty standard here. We've got Stealth Rock to put the entry hazards on the field. We've got Wish and then we've got Protect, which works very nicely. So not only can you heal yourself, but you can pass the Wish on to other teammates. And obviously, you've got some nice stab here, the Moonblast. Now, as for abilities, it's actually got two very good abilities, being Magic Guard. So the Pokemon cannot be damaged by any uh, direct attacks. And then we've got uh, Unaware. So basically, this Pokemon is going to ignore uh, any stat changes, which is a very, very good ability as well, for sure. So we've got Magic Guard for this set. Obviously, uh, any bulky sets uh, can be annoying uh, to verse. So a lot of the time, people try and use Toxic and stuff on them. So or Toxic spikes, anything like that. So Magic Guard does ignore that. So you won't take any damage from those kind of things. So the item I put in this one is going to be leftovers as we've built it more defensively. So the EV spread is going to be max health and max defense. And we've got bold nature there. Uh, if you're running something like Trick Room, you can go uh, brave nature as well. Or, you know, if you wanted to do that, uh, depending on like what sort of team you got, you can go brave as well. So if you're running like Trick Room. But if that doesn't matter, you can just have uh, a bold nature, which is uh, going to be fine too. Uh, as for terror type, I'd probably just keep its terror type at, as like fairy for this sort of build because... Uh, there's going to be other Pokemon when you want to Terra instead of this Clefable. So it's roll to set up the Stealth Rocks to pass Wish onto your other Pokemon and to get a little bit of damage off there with uh, Moonblast. And that's about it. That's its sort of like main purpose for this uh, Stealth Rock Wish Passing set. More of like a utility Clefable, uh, you could say. Now, Clefable does get some other cool things, and it actually gets Cosmic Power. So, I've got like a bit of a fun Cosmic Power sweeping set here. Now, Clefable is going to be more of a um, a really, really bulky build here. But it's going to have some you know definite offensive presence about it with the mood stored power. So, I've given it similar... Similar uh, EVs as last time. So we got max health and max defense. I've given it uh, calm to boost its special attack and drop its attack. So I want to try and make it uh, kind of even across the board in its defense and special defense because we're going to be making use of cosmic power. So cosmic power is going to give me a defense and special defense rise every single time I use it. And it works very, very nicely with stored power. So the move stored power is going to get a plus 20 uh, base every time uh, you get a stat boost there so it's going to make Clefable bulky but it's going to make it uh, hit very very hard as well with stored power even though it's not a psychic type Pokemon after a lot of boost it just hits so hard and powerful now obviously we're going to be walled by dark type Pokemon right so even steel type Pokemon will take a fair amount of damages once you have say five or six cosmic powers up and the other move I've got in there is Charge Beam. So this will further give you extra boost in your special attack. And it'll allow you to hit Dark-type Pokemon as well. You might be able to go for Dazzling Gleam if you wanted to. But I thought it'd be cool to have Charge Beam there to actually boost your special attack. Because Cosmic Power is only making you bulky. So that's another way to go about it. And I've got Wish for Recovery as well. Um, it's going to be very, very important. I don't think it, it does not get um, Soft World anymore. I, I believe it uh that was removed this uh, generation. But you've got Wish to heal yourself. Now, you can run this two ways. You can have Unaware as the ability. Now, I with Unaware, I gave it a Citrus Berry because that's going to be quite important initially as you set the Cosmic Powers up. So, you know, the more you're getting those Cosmic Powers up, the less damage, you, of course, are going to take. So you're pretty much more prone at the start of setting them up 
Um, you could have leftovers as well. That's another good one. But I find leftovers is better in the latter part of setting up, whereas Citrus Fruit is uh, a lot more handy at the start there, which helps you get those up. So that's sort of up to what you want to do there. Um, as for Terror Type, um, with this one, since I know we're not running Magic Guard, I thought, how about we go Terror Type Steel? That'll give me not well. That'll give me like the least amount of uh, weaknesses as well. Plus, it'll make me immune to toxic, which is going to be pretty good too. Uh, and any poison uh, moves that are going to be aimed my way uh, as well, and steel type moves. So, being a fairy type is going to be weak to the poison and the steel. So, I thought steel would be a nice terror type to go into. And you know, with all those cosmic power bul uh, bulk, it's going to be very very difficult to, uh, to take out for sure. So that's another option you go for. If you wanted to, you could have Magic Guard as well. Uh, Magic Guard, you may not have to go Terra Steel then. You could keep it as Terra Fairy. And then maybe you could... You can even have Life Orb on there if you want some like more like of, of, like offensive uh, you know, damage output. That could work with Magic Guard too. Um, I've seen that. And you could also maybe go for... Hmm. Actually, no. I, I quite like that. Uh, that would do some uh, pretty nice damage uh, there with Life Orb. So I'd probably go with that if you want to run that. But yeah, Unaware and the uh, Terra Steel would be uh, would be pr a pretty cool idea as well. Or Leftovers. What one of those? One of those uh, two uh, sorts of items. This I'd say would probably work much better in singles. I mean, you can run uh, Cosmic Power in doubles. You're going to need a uh, a partner to probably take a few hits for you or you know, like maybe a follow me Pokemon to start getting these set up because it does take a little bit of time. So that's another set that you could possibly do for Clefable. Now Clefable also is a nice Calm Mind boosting Pokemon. So we're going to make this as a bulky boost Calm Mind sweeper and we're going to be using uh, a Calm Mind and Wish here. So with uh, the move Draining Kiss, this is going to be hitting at 50 base power. It's going to be recovering 75% of the damage dealt. Plus, I've given it Big Root as well, which is going to add onto that as well. So you're going to get lots of recovery. So after many car mines, uh, that's going to make it special defensive. Very, very bulky on the special side. And it's going to increase its special attack too. So it's going to be lot doing lots of damage and it's going to be healing you at the same time. So initially, you might have to use Wish to begin with, but as you start getting a lot of Calm Minds up and attacking, you'll find you won't have to use the move Wish as often. Now, of course, it's going to be uh, walled by Steel-type Pokemon and such, so I thought Flamethrower would be a good idea to run for coverage. Also, you might be able to get a burn off there as well. might be uh, handy against any uh, real... Uh, physical uh, you know, attackers, powerful physical attackers. But there you go, not a bad set. I've got Magic Guard on there as well for obvious reasons. Uh, you know, say you get those Calm Minds up, you might you might find yourself falling down to Toxic uh, if you don't have, uh, if you've got Unaware instead. But uh, I'd probably choose to go Magic Guard on that set. Now, you could actually have Life Orb on there as well if you wanted some more damage. That would actually be pretty good too. I'll suggest Life Orb for that. But yeah, one of the two, Life Orb or Big Root, they would absolutely uh, work for sure. So, Terra Fairy. Yeah, I, I like Terra Fairy. Terra Fairy Draining Kiss is going to do some really nice damage. And, uh, you know, Fairy is a very, very strong type as well. So, I don't see much point in uh, changing that one around. And, you know, if any of the weaknesses come in, you can still you can still use uh, Flamethrower against them. And even a, a boosted Draining Kiss... At plus six, we'll still do a lot of damage as well and heal you up for a lot too. So um, if that does get set up, it's going to be very nice. Um, if you want to get this one set up, it, it's maybe a, a Pokemon that can set up, especially in singles, maybe a Memento or Parting Shot Pokemon before it. And then you can start setting your Calm Minds up. That could be a good way to set uh, the Clefable up and try and, uh, yeah, try and get that sweep happening, I guess. So that's a couple of ways to run uh, Clefable. Now, let's have a look at doubles. Personally, uh, if I was going to use Clefable and doubles, I wouldn't use it over Clefairy. A Clefairy, in my opinion, is better. And I'm going to do a build for both of them. So Clefairy, um, in in singles, I, I would say that uh, yeah, well, Clefable is better in singles, but in doubles, Clefairy is better. Um, mainly due to its, uh, its bulk with Everlight. And, of course, the ability Friend Guard. So, Friend Guard is going to give uh, a three-quarter damage. Uh, it's only going to have three-quarters damage uh, for its allies. 
So that's going to be really, really handy. And of course, when you compare that to Clefable, it's it's got like unaware and magic guard, magic guard. So it doesn't do anything for its allies, whereas Clefairy does. Now, since it's that kind of Pokemon, it's going to be you can almost run it as fully support. Um, there are a couple of moves that you can actually run for this. And I'll go over um, what you can actually, uh, you know, even do with that. So the main move, of course, is going to be follow me. So uh, it's, you're going to redirect a lot of those moves. It's going to be good. Now, I did notice that Clefairy doesn't have anything like Soft World, which is a bit of a shame. I believe it had a last generation. So whether it's going to get as much use because of that, maybe it won't, but... Um, you still have Life Dew, which is okay, but not as good. Um, you're going to heal uh, the user and ally for a quarter of health, so I thought that would be okay on there too. So we've got Helping Hand. So this is a very passive Pokemon, so if you're going to run this, you're going to need to run it with uh, something that's going to be doing a lot of damage output. And I'll give a couple of examples in a sec. And we've got Protect on here as well. So all sort of um, just status moves there to help your partner. And we've got the EV spread as max health and max defense. The best way to run that. And uh, I'd go bold nature on that one too. So, yeah. So, that's probably your best way of doing it. Some other moves you could possibly use on that. If you, you don't have to have protect if you don't want to. Because it is going to be taking a lot of hits. You could just pop on Moonblast there. That way, at least you've got a move to use. And maybe if you get taunted, you're not going to be complete, uh, you know, taunt bait. Uh, another move you could give it as well. You could give it Dazzling Gleam. That's not too bad. That way, at least you get a little bit of damage on the opposing two Pokemon. But the way I see it, the best way to use Clefairy in doubles um, is to use it as a follow me to get the uh, opponent's uh, attacks to redirect it. And, of course, Helping Hand as well, boosting uh, the allies uh, move power by 1.5 that turn. And supporting with Life Orb. So it's a great bulky support Pokemon for sure. Now, some Pokemon that you could possibly use... Let's remove, remove this set for a sec. So Pokemon you could possibly use with Clefairy. Um, I, I would suggest uh, Rillaboom. That's a good one to use alongside it. Um, some really big hitters. Let's say, what about some new ones? So Ur Ursaluna, that'd be a great one to use alongside it as well. Ursaluna Blood Moon, not normal Ursaluna. I mean, you could use normal Ursaluna, but Blood Moon I'd probably use. Um, so, you know, Helping Hand Hyper Voice as an example. You know, that's not going to be playing any games there. So that's definitely a good Pokemon to couple of with. Um, you, there's, there's a lot of high offensive Pokemon that could absolutely benefit from uh, that too. Now, you could also do little tricks like, you know, obviously a Pokemon that's weak to Dragon. You could... Let's do a Dragon Pokemon, for example. Um, what do we got here? So, Dragon type. Even like, you know, Garchomp, uh, Como, something like that. Or Dragonite, one of those kind of Pokemon. You could couple of that. And if there's any opposing Dragon type Pokemon, you can go for Follow Me, and then it's not going to affect Clefairy due to it being a Fairy type. So there's like good little um, sort of like uh, matchups there uh, that you can do on your team, which would definitely help it out and boost the power of its uh, moves and stuff like that. Uh, another good move it gets too, if you're really, really wanting it to be complete support, is Heal Pulse. That's another great move too. So that's going to heal. Uh, the target by 50%, which, of course, you're going to be healing your ally. And, yeah, that's that's another great move. It has really, really good support moves. And it's got that friend guard and the bulk of Everlight. Uh, that would be the pros. The cons would be the fact that um, you have to carry Everlight. That's, that's one of the bad things um, for sure. And if you lose it, it's... Obviously, it's not so good if it gets knocked off. But, yeah, um, that's probably the uh, the cons of using a Clefairy. Now, if you want... Sorry, a Clef, uh, yeah, Clefairy. Now, if you want to use Clefable, you could. But I don't think it's as good. I'm going to give you a move set that you could use for doubles as well. I just like using Clefairy better due to its ability. But if you find yourself not needing that ability, you might be able to do something. I'm, I'm using a little bit of a different set here. So I'm going away from support on, Clef on Clefable because Clefairy, in my opinion, just does it better. So we've got Follow Me, which is not a bad move there just to have on there. And we've got Dazzling Gleam. So this is more built as a max special attack, max health set. So it's doing more damage output. So Gleam or Moonblast. Uh, I've got Life Dew, and I've got Icy Wind as well. Um, so I thought Icy Wind would make a nice support move, even on uh, a Clefairy that could work too. But yep, so we've got Icy Wind, Life Dew, 
look, instead of life due, you might be able to do something. Uh, I think it gets another spray. Because like hyper voice, you might be able to put like a, a throat spray on there. I've got covert cloak on here because it isn't the fastest Pokemon. And, you know, you might get hit by a secondary, like a, a, a flinch or something like that. So it might be good to have that cloak on there because it's not a very fast Pokemon to say least. You could possibly run this one on a Trick Room team if you wanted to. So you could probably put that as Quiet Nature and, you know, uh, drop them speed EVs and, you know, really tank it out. Maybe you could put Moonblast on there for some extra damage or, as I said, you could put throat spray on there too so a couple of ideas to run uh your know, fable in double uh doubles and, and singles of course we're gonna have that and uh clefairy so uh clefairy i still believe is better in doubles and in singles well depends what rules you're playing but i'd say that clefable is uh is, is better in uh in the singles there but you could do those bulky you know those bulky boosting sets you can always do them on clefairy as well but um I, I just think it's better in doubles, um, my, myself personally, so with uh, Clefairy. So, of course, um, I have got a... Uh, we've got, gone over that set. I've got some... I've suggested some teammates. Um, how about I suggest a few counters? So, a couple of counters to Clefable if you ever come across it. I'm just straight away <laughs> just going to say Corviknight because Corviknight is a... A very, very good counter. Um, even if the Clefable has got Flamethrower, it's going to take a couple to faint you, of course. Um, any Steel-type Pokemon, pretty much. You know, Steel-type Pokemon only going to give you a fair bit of, uh, you know, fair few issues for sure. So any of the Steel-type uh, Goldengo is going to be a bit of a, a bit of a pain as well, for sure. Who else? I'm trying to think. Uh, but yeah, we'll just, I'll just type in Steel because there's quite a few examples that you could... Uh, you could possibly have here. So we've got quite a few of the Oh, Heat Ran. Heat Ran is a very, very good counter because not only does it resist Fairy, uh, if you've got a Flamethrower, which a lot of the Clefable uh, Clefe do have, it has Flash Fire. So that's a great Clefable counter. So there we go. Just a couple of counters uh, to think of there. Um, Toxapex is another good one too. Uh, Toxapex. Yeah, there's not much Clefable can do that. Unless it's got like, a, you know, that is like that bulky... Even if you try and do those bulky stored power builds, it can just go haze and things like that. So, yeah, that's a very, very good counter for it as well. Uh, let's have a look at the, my, my Pip Knight special build today. As we know, we like to do a lot of memes here. And we've got a Pip Knight special physical Clefable set. So, I'm looking at uh, Clefable and I'm thinking, man, this uh, this Pokemon, we could do it as a physical attacker. So, I've got max speed and jolly nature. Uh, that thumping base 60 in speed, and we've got max attack uh, with 70 attack, so it's, it wouldn't be really the hardest and fastest hitter. So I thought the way to get, maybe get around from that is we could go uh, Salak as the item, and that'll at least make it reasonably fast, and it actually is going to be Terra Steel, because it, it learns Meteor Mash, which is cool. So I thought, oh, we might be able to go Terra Steel Meteor Mash, and which has a 20% chance to boost up its attack by one stage, and you know, Steel is still a good typing. Uh, we've got Play Rough there for Stab, Drain Punch there for opposing Steel Pokemon and for Sustain. And, of course, we've got Ice Punch as well um, for any ground types that do come in there if you are, you know, if you've Terra Steel or something like that. So, uh, there you go. A Pib Knight special set. As you know, I like to do lots of memes. We like to do uh, every sort of uh, different move set, whether it be meta or fun. And, yeah, there's some good sets. Let's have a look at um, Clefairy... Ankle Fables move, well, they're pretty much the same. The one thing I, I do know, it, it, it definitely got softball before. The, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I definitely believe that it had... Actually, no, I know for a fact that it had softball. So maybe that will uh, determine uh, it not being used as much. I'm not sure. It still has Wish, though, and Rest, but, man, softball was very, very good, especially in, like... It's, it, it, even in even doubles, it was it was good, right? That instant recovery. So let's have a look at a status boost. It can be a, a decent baton pass uh, Pokemon too, whatever rule you're playing. So it can uh, you know it could baton pass stored powers. That's not bad. Uh, we've got have a calm mind. Encore is another decent move as well for like a utility set. Uh, we've got uh, healing wish, which isn't too bad as well. So you could pop that on Tickle Fable. And that could definitely work at singles or doubles. Uh, Moonlight is another healing move. The reason I didn't mention Moonlight is due to weather and stuff like that. You know, primarily Wish is uh, is better in my opinion. So uh, we got that. Uh, we got Light Screen, Reflex. So it could be a screen a screener as well. Um, we've got Rest and Sleep Tall, Stealth Rock. We've got another uh, Thunder Wave. It has Trick as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, we've got another Wish. Uh, another one is After You. You might be able to use in doubles. Um, 
I'd, I'd probably run that under Trick Room, though, uh, to make use of after you, like a bulky after you set. That would uh, definitely work, and you could run that alongside a Trick Room. Maybe like Cresselia or something like that. That would be quite uh, a good Pokemon to run as Trick Room. Uh, it gets a lot of, like, boosting moves. Like, Cosmic Power is a very nice one as well. Uh, you got Follow Me, which is, like, a very, very good doubles move. And you've also got Gravity as well. So, Gravity... Could be interesting there if you want to try and increase the accuracy of the more powerful low accuracy moves. That could be fun. I've gone over Heal Pulse, Helping Hand. Imprison is interesting there if you come across another one. Uh, Life Duo went over that already. And yeah, pretty much you got some other cool stuff like Skill Swap. But Skill Swap's more determined on if you've got like a very, very specific strategy going. I believe it, um, looking at its special moves here... I believe it gets Misty Explosion again. Yeah, it does get Misty Explosion again. Cool. So, if you want to run, like, more of an offensive set, you might be able to... Maybe, I was thinking maybe on, like, a, a snow team, you could have Blizzard on it, like a more offensive Clefable, if possible. And you've got Dazzle and Gleam as well. So, it's got a couple of spread moves there. Uh, we've got Draining Kiss, went over that. Flamethrower and Fire Blast. You can run them on more offensive sets because that's good for a Steel-type Pokemon. And we got Hyper Voice there, and we got Moon Blast. Uh, it's got a bit of fixed damage with Nightshade, which is okay, but you're probably better off just using Moon Blast. It'll probably do mo more most of the time. Uh, stored Power, we've gone over a Stored Power Cosmic Power set with uh, Charge Beam or any sort of filler move there. And uh, yeah, Misty Explosion could be fun in maybe in doubles if you had like a Protect Pokemon, Telepathy, something like that. That's a little option that you could use there. Icy Wind's also another one too. So it does get quite a few of those um, moves, but I feel like Icy Wind is more support style so there's its special moves let's have a look at its physical moves still gets quite a few good ones um i don't know i guess it gets dual wing beat because it's got tiny little wings on it that's kind of a surprise but yeah there's nothing super amazing here that you'd use competitively maybe knock off that could be a good support move to have on it um for sure knock off that's not too bad and all the other kind of like memes and things that's why i built the uh the pin light special set out of all these uh at uh you know ones here so Looking at uh, Clefable as a Pokemon, I still think it's a very, very good Pokemon, but it, it's kind of sucks that it doesn't have softballed anymore. Like, that's that's a uh, that's a little bit of a, uh, a letter in there. It's still got Wish, though, which can make it uh, a, a, a valuable uh, Wish Pass or support Pokemon. Um, as for doubles, I could still see Clefairy being a good uh, Pokemon in uh, in doubles as well. Even singles, you could you could do these little Calm Mind, this Calm Mind set, you could do that. I believe for Clefairy, let me do that. Let's say for singles, we've already gone over a doubles one there. So you could, you do Everlight, and then you could do like um, uh, Magic Guard. But unfortunately, you don't have uh, Unaware, so you have to go with that. So yeah, you could do the Wish, it still gets that. And then Calm Mind, I believe it gets Draining Kiss as well. Yeah, so it can, it can still do that exactly the same sort of like build there in singles if you wanted to, depending on what you're playing. So. Yeah, um, that's pretty much that Calm Mind set there with a little bit more up bulk. The only thing is Everlight, you know. You can only run uh, Everlight. You can't run any of other handy items like Life Orb or Leftovers and Sisters Berry and that sort of thing. But anyway, people, that is your guide on Clefable and Clefairy. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it insightful. I think there's a little Clefairy uh, event going on at the moment. So maybe catch a few Clefairy. You want to know a move set for them? Uh, here it is. That's about it, people. Hope you enjoyed this. Found it uh, exciting and uh, insightful. I'll catch you next time. Peace out.